The town of Longbow Key is seeking final approval to bury all of the island's utilities, but pushback, pushback from a few residents may slow down that process. ABC 7's Adam Cellini joins us now in the studio with the latest. Adam. Scott and Haley, thank you. Everyone paid the same in the first phase to bury utilities along Gulf of Mexico Drive, but to move forward, some residents will be asked to pay more than their neighbors, something not everyone seems willing to do. You'll hear this noise. For the 27th time, underground power lines are on a Longboat Key agenda. Even though this second phase to bury all island utilities along with the ones on Gulf of Mexico Drive should cost the same, some properties were shocked to see the new tab. We're paying like four times the amount, three and a half times the assessment. Uh, that other con similar condominium properties are paying up and down the island. Steve Zook manages the Beachcombers 40 condo units, where owners have been assessed over $4,000 each to bury just one nearby power pole. We feel it's just been an error and we need to draw their attention to it. They're assessing us as if they were running 39 different cables to the building which is unheard of. But town manager Dave Bullock says that price tag also includes direct benefits to safety and reliability. A condominium or single family home is assessed based on the benefit. Uh, there are several factors, but one of the factors is proximity to an overhead line. Properties like Beachcomber that are within 55 feet of a pole are categorized as having special benefits. The benefit is the uh, elimination of that line, burying it underground, and by the way, replacing it with a brand new electrical distribution system. Most who spoke at Tuesday's meetings fell into this category, although some argued they've been assessed power lines that are on nearby residential streets instead of their own. This is a project that's taking place off of our property that has nothing to do with our property. We can find absolutely no special benefit. Residents hoping to bury this project until the town can reevaluate the cost. Commissioners are still undecided after more than four hours of debate. Some have proposed taking property assessments all the way back to square one under a different model. We'll bring you that decision later tonight.